<laughs> All right, this one's called Iron Body and it comes from Chinese martial arts, though pretty much every martial art has, uh, you know, techniques on how to defend. And it looks a bit like this if I use a wooden stick, <coughs> like that. If I use this piece of metal, <laughs> I'm out of practice, excuse me. I'll keep these in the Anyway, essentially, it is how to defend. Now, there are multiple different factors for defense. The first is your actual physical body, your, your muscles and bones. See, I'm, I'm whacking my arm, the muscle is kind of, and the fat is vibrating and shaking. The bone, of course, internally is as well, but the bone's kind of like a, a stiff, solid structure. <clears throat> the muscle and the fat is absorbing a lot of the blow, and if I tense it, <clears throat> the muscle gets hard, the fat absorbs the shock, the muscle absorbs the rest of it, and there's only a little bit to go into the bone, so it's like it's penetrating in. Um, so that's physically, you know, physically you've got a, a, a bone, on top of it is muscle, and then on top of that is fat. So the three layers of, of softness, semi-softness, and hardness <clears throat> physically. Now the other, the other is a spiritual layer. That's, see I can expand my <clears throat> stomach out and I can pull it in. That's pressure. That's spirit, air, all the same thing. You've got to learn how to pull spiritual energy, which is you breathe in and you, you focus and you, you pull pressure into the arm and it defends it, it you know, it, it protects it, it's also how you heal. Like, these are the two things you've got to work on, the physical body and the spiritual body. Physical body is trained through muscle exercise, push-ups, squats, uh, sit-ups, they're your basic three. And you can do like running for cardio or boxing or something like that. But the physical exercise that I'll teach you, this one's specific for iron body. So you start with your palms. Now what you do is you do it light enough that it doesn't really hurt too much. And you start to slap your torso, do your whole, your back. And you can do the back, back of the hand, the, you backhand it. And then you do your arms. You're using either the palm or the back, whatever one's whatever one you can get and you're trying to get yourself used to the the blow of being hit because a lot of the times uh, a lot of the time the nerves your nervous system you know, whew, you know you'll, whew, you'll be like oh shit well you want to just be like doesn't do anything you know you can someone can hit you and you're not you're not going to get shooken up or anything like that this also vibrates the muscles, the bones, the fat, and gets it used to being hit. So the more you get hit, the more defense you, you gain. So you do your legs, and you're gonna find areas that might hurt. Um, these, like the knees for some people, or the hips, the shoulders, usually the joints, if you, you have weak joints, you know, you have a poor circulation, you've got you know, toxins and stuff in them, it can hurt. It's actually a medicinal thing if you go like this. It's good if you've got bad knees. You go sideways, I hope you can see this. Top and then bottom. You do that for like a minute. That's how you toughen up your joints. Again, you only want to do it as hard as you can handle 
because um, you don't want to hurt yourself. Now the face and the spine, spine is delicate, you've got to be kind of gentle, <clears throat> but it can also be good to do this, because again you're shaking everything, you're shaking all the, all the junk out of it. You can also use a, a uh, palm like this, or a front palm, any, any kind of palm technique like this is, is fine. This is a neck. Like this chin. <clears throat> you can use a fist. Again, you punch someone hits you in the chin. You want to be able to handle that. This is how you do it. You toughen up the bone by doing this. Nose is a bit delicate. You kind of have to be gentle because you still want to toughen that up <clears throat> and those is it because it's delicate so same way with the spine you still want to toughen up you just have to do it slowly you can actually do it with the testicles as well you know like this or the, the lower belly these are delicate areas but if you're going to get hit there <laughs> you have to learn how to you know take a blow there if you want to do martial arts. So all this back of the head again, semi-delicate, the head, the eardrums, don't do it too hard or you pop them, you want to work your way up. So that's what you do. Every day, you do this for 10 minutes. Go through your whole body, the feet, and what will happen, eventually, you will become resistant to minor force you know, the toes etc so that's kind of level one level zero would be basic physical training you know push-ups squats uh, sit-ups as i said you know bench press all that uh, and then level one is just that tapping the whole body level two is wood now you can get this or one minute, oh, one second. You can also get bamboo sticks, duct tape them, and then you go over your whole body. Now this hits the bone a bit more, so you'll have to you'll toughen up your bones by doing this. And you also get used to, and again, you're doing it the same way I did this. I didn't do, poof, 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 but you can. Once you get better, you go, And what I'm doing is I'm using my spiritual shield, a spiritual energy shield. I know it sounds so fucking, um, but if you understand, it just spirit just means air, you know. Energy, of course, I guess it's focus, you know, brain focus, all that, and shield, you know. So I'm, what you do is you you push out you with the stomach when you hit it, because that's what you do when you when you block you push out you know if you had a shield you go poof, when you hit you push out that's how you defend you <laughs> like that so i'm pushing out same way with the the if you if it's something like a muscle you tense you tense and you're going to push forward so like that and it's the focus and the pushing out which directs the spirit, or the chi as they call it. That's how you direct your, your chi energy, your, your ki energy, prana, all this stuff. It's just, it's a combination of electromagnetic, etheric force, and the technical words again, and literal air pressure in the body. And that's why, you know, something that's blown up, like a tire that's blown up, it's like, that and deflated tires like you can see you can feel and hear the difference so when you use these you want to you know use a bit of that use a bit of that push out and that push towards it or that's when you're doing it hard you poof, poof, like that if you're just doing it soft you can just kind of relax it because eventually you'll get to a point where someone just goes oh oh didn't do nothing here. You know. I didn't do nothing there. I didn't use any focus um, or just like a, like that, like a, 
didn't really do nothing. I wasn't focusing. If I like, <clears throat> like that, I could do it a lot harder because you'll get to the point where you're just you're tough enough. You can take a blow without using the you know, the energy shield because your physical body is tough enough. It's strong enough. So anyway, go through the whole body. Remember, front plane of the body, front side, back side. So back side, front side. <laughs> Got me there. You have to, you have to toughen it out. <laughs> That's how you do it. You do it slowly. On delicate every two with the face, you just have to... Mm. Side plane of the body, side plane, other side plane. So you've got front, back, side, side. Same way with the hands. Uh, front, or you can have side, front, back, or bottom, top. So, uh, this is like right side, left side, leg, front, back, outer, and inner. You're going to have outer and inner like that. And the inner areas are usually the weak areas. This is the inner. Inners are weaker. Outers are tougher because, you know, we have to protect. The, um, the back, I believe, is actually an outer area. And the front is an inner area and the face is delicate. Back of the owl head is not as delicate than as the face. <laughs> it's level two. You can also practice stabbing. So you can practice other types of, um, you know, damage, so to speak. Just to kind of get yourself used to this, you know. Because uh, eventually, if you do this all over your body, you just you won't, just won't hurt as much because you're just used to it. Um, you know, it's you just you toughen up your body, and again, you you can train the energy shield by just standing, breathe, and can keep that continuous flow through your body. Focus through your body and kind of push out with your focus. Feel as if you're like breathing into everything and focusing on everything. That's how you practice the, uh, the, the, the air shield. The physical, you can, you can stand and tense your whole body and push out. <clears throat> tense the whole body. They do this in like Okinawan karate, I think. And they get someone to go like this over the whole body. And if you have any weakness, then you don't pass. So you stand there and you tense out the whole body like a whole, like you do a horse stance. Rule three, metal. Again, same thing. And you'll feel the density of metal. Now you can also use brick. <coughs> Like this, through your whole body, doing all the planes. Again, you're getting yourself used to dense things hitting the body. Ow! <laughs> Got it right on my toenail. <laughs> that fucking hurt. Alright, so. Probably get the idea on that. So to summarize, you've got two different protective elements. Physical things and spiritual things. Spiritual is focus. If I focus on my arm, it's going to hurt less. And if I push out and breathe into it, and once you get good with your... Your energy, your internal energy, you can feel where your energy is. And that helps it. The physical one is tension, tensing the muscle and working the muscle and the bone and practicing all that. So two layers. And the practice again, it just practice different types of, of strikes all over the body, different 
types of hardness of, of pressure you know, do it more do it less um, all kinds of places and gentle places be gentle you know for your your groin and your face and toes and maybe fingers and, and joints if you have sore joints be more gentle and work your way up and the uh, the four main levels zero is just body training one is wood or bamboo uh, wait no one is your hands two is wood or bamboo and three is metal or brick they both work well so um, I think that's about it for iron body and as I said the, the exercise, standing exercise was physical one is stand and tense, spiritual is stand, focus on your body and breathe and flow the energy, the spiritual energy through the body and then you can combine them, tense and flow the spiritual energy and you want to try to pull it into the, the muscles and bones, into the physical area, that's how you toughen up your body and you develop it and all that through you know, spiritual exercises uh, so that's about it you know, i hope you enjoyed and of course feel free to check the links in the description for social commercial and all that and have a nice day